Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute, um, but today I am continuing on with the moon compatibility signs. Um, today I'm doing Sagittarius and Capricorn moon compatibility. So Sagittarius is ruled by the ninth house, ruled by Jupiter, and Capricorn is ruled by the 10th house, ruled by Saturn, two extremely different planets and different energies. They are neighboring signs, which means they are next door to each other, which creates an aversion. Um, so a virgin is kind of like, it means if there's any planets or aspects being made in either of these signs, you know, in sinistry, uh, basically they just, most of the time, depending, like won't have any aspect influence with the major aspects being sextile, trines, squares, you know, conjunctions or things like that. Unless it's like, maybe you have a planet on the cusp or something, but they don't influence each other. They are next door neighbors, but they can be very different you know Sagittarius is kind of like the sign where you have a lot of fun and everything and everything's kind of loose and a bit more free-flowing and a bit more optimistic and then Capricorn's kind of like okay we've had our fun now let's kind of you know get back into the nitty-gritty and the hard work so they do have very different because the moon rules our emotions very out different outlooks on the way that they look you know, maybe at life or the way that they express their emotions as well. Capricorn can have the tendency when it's in the moon to keep quite a lid on their emotions, you know, whilst they're growing up. And that kind of changes usually around 30, like, you know, when they have a Saturn return and things that can kind of, when that influence starts to come in, Capricorn can, you know, become more kind of in touch with those things, which is pretty normal and sometimes not. It really depends on everything within the chart, like I say in every video. Uh, also, Sagittarius is kind of just could feel a little bit restless with Capricorn as well and maybe a little bit restricted uh, in certain emotional areas. Like, for example, if this is a father-daughter relationship and we have a Capricorn moon as the father and the daughter as a Sagittarius moon, Obviously, we're going to have a pretty rebellious child, you know, eventually it will pan, could pan out that way with the Sagittarius moon just being like, ah, oh, I'm over this, I need to break free and, you know, the classic go travel somewhere and be me and live my life because Capricorn moons can become quite authoritarian over Sagittarius moons, which at the end of the day, the Sagittarius moon can kind of go along with it for a while, but then they kind of just end up snapping and you know, breaking free and wanting to do their own thing anyway. Um, but yeah, because Capricorn means they do have that tendency to want to be in control and like things in an orderly fashion. And, and sometimes that doesn't have to be in, you know, a really terrible way or anything. It can just kind of be that that's just the way that they like things. And, you know, whether you follow that or not is kind of your problem. But they do have things that they like in particular ways. And there's not, whether a Sagittarian just might be a little bit less fussy, we could put it in that way and if you're in a romantic relationship as well that can also play out just to be an annoying factor on both sides but then again you know Sag can help relax the Capricorn moon you know and and sort of teach them how to kind of like channel those regimented emotions and just kind of let you know a little bit more fun in and less worry sometimes and like not to say that Sagittarian moon doesn't worry either, but they worry in different ways. And this is where I think personally the conflict can come out. And because the two signs really don't have like that much in common within the zodiac chart, they, I really do believe like the, when we have an aversion, which is neighboring signs, you know, they are there to still, every sign is there to teach another sign something else. Every sign has something that another sign lacks. So when we're putting that into emotions, I really think that Capricorn Thames and Sagittarius lifts up you know so they they can kind of like balance the scales with each other in my opinion if they have patience with each other which i think both lacks actually in different ways like sagittarius can lack it with okay well i just want to you know do this now it'll be fun now and then capricorn's like no no let's wait let's take our time and like let's you know plan this out a bit more so that's kind of a way it could possibly play out you know as well whether it be in a, in a friendship romantic or family relationship i think this works quite well in a friendship though because i think one reels the other in and the other and while the other one wants to still continue to go and party and maybe take it too far sometimes and also you know 
one the Sagittarius moon could drag the cap out of its shell a little bit and show them a really good time and things like that. So I, I think as a friendship, this is probably via moon signs the best way we could have it. Um, but, you know, I think like with any moon sign compatibility, it just everything relies, you know, patience in it. That's just normal human, human, human emotion is just knowing when to react and when not to react. Um, and I do think obviously these signs are going to have conflict. They're super different, um, but it's not the worst match in my opinion. It's not like they're opposing each other in the zodiac wheel. So there isn't that constant push pull. I do think that they can sit there and work out a compromise because Sagittarius is always willing to learn. And if that's in the emotions, you know, they're always willing to try new ways of doing things. And then Capricorn, you know, is, is always willing to sort of look at things in, in a rational sort of way and, so, and think of a, a problem, you know, fixing solution type situation that came out all wrong. But you know what I mean? Like, so I do think they can help each other out in other ways. Um, I don't... I really don't think that they're the most aggressive signs in the zodiac either. I think that they are quite both quite easy emotionally to sort of be able to get along and and work something out. I don't see there being like blow up fights with this pair. Depending on everything else, you know, if there's other aspects that sort of say that in your sinistry then I mean obviously that's going to change, but just with this particular aspect alone I don't see that. Um, I do think that Cap definitely gets annoyed for Sagittarius being so optimistic sometimes. Um, and then Sagittarius obviously getting annoyed emotionally for Capricorn, maybe just trying to reel them in. But I think that Capricorn, uh, even if an eccentric person, Capricorn Moon can still, you know, be quite traditional in a lot of ways emotionally. Um, you know, with just slow build feelings or slow build relationships and earning trust and all that sort of stuff. Whether Sagittarius will kind of just jump in and go along for the ride. I do see Capricorn having, the Capricorn moon having a lot more influence on the Sagittarius moon, but I do think the Sagittarius moon would give a good fight back. I think that they'd have good debates because they'd have completely different opinions on things. Um... So I think that's where romantically it could possibly be a fun thing for both of them and where it could f thrive. Um, but yeah, again, going back to just Sagittarius being quite limiting and then sometimes the enthusiasm of the Sagittarius moon to the Capricorn moon can be quite irritating as well because it's just, it can be too much and it can be a little bit annoying on both ends. Um, but I do like I think the best part about it is because Sagittarius loves to learn that that can be a positive thing and like I said before you know one tames and one lifts up and they just have to work on getting the balance right between each other that's pretty much what it comes down to I don't think it's a bad match I think this is a very cruisy easy match I think these two really do have potential to get along they just have to understand that obviously they're different. Like, I mean, everybody is, but because it's an aversion, I, I don't actually see it impacting hugely like to the emotional core or anything, unless there's other aspects being made via Sinistry. So all in all, I really do think these two have a lot to teach each other. And I do think that they can both go a long way with each other. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. And yeah, I hope that COVID's treated you all well. I know I haven't posted for about I think it's been like two years but yeah I, I am trying to slowly come back and get back into it I think I just was so caught up with so many other things I sort of lost my passion for making videos but yeah no I'm I am hopefully back now I'm going to just keep it easy on myself and post at least once a fortnight from now on and I'm just going to leave it there for now I'm not going to say where I'm going with it but I am going to be continuing with the moon compatibility um, for a while uh, and I might start doing some moon updates again as well. Alright, anyway, thanks so much guys.